Hello. Welcome back to Genshin Impact. This is episode 73. And as you can see, I basically haven't moved from where I left off last episode. And, well, it looks like things are about to happen. The wishes are gone with the one type of fates. What is it, the acquaint? With the events, these end in two hours. So I'm thinking probably what's going to happen is the server is going to shut down in about two and a half hours. So in the meantime, let's go ahead and play and try to get this story quest done. This story quest being the next one with Zhang Li. Because that's what's next in this whole lineup. Yeah. So let's go ahead and get started on it. Strange sights, so stolen souls. Stolen souls. Go talk. Go to the Liu Wei's Adventures Guild to talk to Catherine. Well, we're going to be working with you again, Zhang Li, but it looks like we don't start with you. So I'll leave you be. Although I'm sure being left alone is a rather depressing thing for him. He is used to it, but it still does not make it any better. Boom! Right. Get all this foul meat. Only two pieces. That wasn't worth it at all. Aether would have been better to try and get all that. Anyway, let's talk to Catherine. Catherine, if you please. Yes, are there any? As a matter of fact, there's one that looks perfect for you two. Yay! Uncle Dai is one of the foremen at Huishan Hall over in Liyue Harbor. Who? He's hoping the Adventurers Guild can spare some manpower. Uh, yes. What is it we have to do exactly? I believe you'll be looking for workers. Ooh, looking for looking workers? For awesome! We're good at that! So we're not lifting things I ourselves? Have no reason to doubt your abilities. Well, maybe you should. I'm sure the details can be worked out face to face. If you're willing to accept this commission, head over to the dock and talk to Uncle Dai. Okay, I'll do that. No mere stone. Historia Antiqua Chapter 2. Antiqua? I don't know how to say that word. Wait. We're kind of going the right way? Not really, though. Uh, in here, right? Maybe not in here? He is... Aha! There he is. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Before we talk to him. Pick up this thing. Uncle Dai! I don't know who you are. Yes, that was his name when we clicked on him. I am indeed. Yay, we ah, found him! Oh, then. You must be the adventurers assigned by the guild. Huh? We are. How could you tell? We look like adventurers. <laughs> by the clothes on your back and the look on your face. Experienced adventurers at that, I'll wager. Yes, we do have some experience. You're pretty perceptive. <laughs> In this trade, you need a sharp eye for people, not just rocks. Uncle Dai can see what you're made of from a long way off. Hmm. All right. My assistant should be arriving soon, so let's just wait here a moment. Woo woo! That's why we're here! Now there's someone else taking a cut? His assistant! We well, were hired tell you separately. The truth, this is a very difficult matter. Too much for adventurers alone to handle life here. You sure about that? Hmm. Please, tell us who they are. Really, where are they? Do you think we're not up to the job? I don't think that's the case. Steady, Paimon. Uh, it just Steady. occurred to me that you don't have all the facts. The incident in question happened in a mine, and it's a little out of the ordinary, to we say the least. We spent ten episodes in a mine. Mines are dangerous places, as I'm sure you're aware. 
As such, I've enlisted an industry expert to cover all contingencies. Probably Zhang Li. Last time I checked, adventurers weren't experts in war appraisal or geological analysis. With a professional by your side, everything should run smoothly. Yeah, it sounds like it could be Zhang Li. This guy's the best in his field. Zhang Li. No matter the rock, he'll tell you its value to the nearest mora at a glance. At Zhang Li. I go as far to say that there's not a soul in Tibet that knows rocks better than him. I'd be a fool to not enlist an expert of his caliber. You're a fool if you think you found Tivet's number one rock expert. I'm on your fool for not thinking of Zhang Li. Oh? And why might that be? Because Tivet's number one rock expert happens to be a friend of ours. You must be talking about he's gonna pop up. Perfect. I was planning to ask him a few questions. Ha ha! Didn't expect that, did you? Wait here, we'll go fetch him. It's the same person, I bet. I know that Zhang Li is listening to the storyteller. Let's head over. But Zhang Li is right here. Do you not see him in front of your face? Uh, storyteller, storyteller, storyteller. Can we teleport closer? Yep. Teleporting closer. Uh... There he is. Zhang Li, it's me again. Zhang Li. In our last tale, Rex Lapis. He's hearing stories about himself. Iron Tongue Tian. Zhang Li, there you are. Oh. Here Don't you have some place to be? Tales. I didn't know you two were connoisseurs. We're not. Although I do love stories. I love storytelling. Can we? It's on auto. Why is it not going? We're here for you. Um, do you have time? He has a lot uh, of time. Something I'm rarely short of. We've accepted a commission. We need someone who understands geology and ore. Hmm. Someone who understands geology and ore. I swear it's the same people. Take a look around. Is there anyone in Tavat more qualified? The requester claims to have enlisted Tavat's number one rock expert, but Paimon doesn't believe a word of it. Nobody understands rocks better than you. <laughs> you appear to have taken his claim quite personally on my behalf. She did. Oh, no, no. It's just... Uncle Dai doesn't know what he's talking about. Uncle Dai is talking about him. He wants to enlighten him. <laughs> I see. Well, then, it will be my pleasure to accompany you. I swear his really? assistant is Zhang Li. But I should inform you that despite my expertise, I cannot necessarily claim to be a leading authority. How? We are at all times adrift in a sea of learning. New knowledge should be welcomed with open arms. Still, I imagine I will be of help to you in this endeavor. If we do encounter an expert, I look forward to broadening my own understandings. Ugh. Stop being so modest, Zhang Li. Watch it actually be a Fatui and not Zhang Li. Huh? We got him. Let's head back to Uncle Dai. Like, I'm thinking there, if it's not Zhang Li, it's going to be somebody that we're going to have some contention with. Uh, What's the shortest way back? Oh, no, it's her again. Run! <laughs> Hi, Uncle Dai. We're back. We're Zhang Li. He's not your assistant, is he? Uncle Dai, we're back! Oh, and uh, this must be the friend you spoke of? Okay, so it wasn't Zhang Li. Paimon doesn't know who your rock expert is, but he's got nothing on our guy. <laughs> Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Still, I do have a claim to some experience in this field. Uh, He's acting too modest. So you say. Wait till my guy gets here. Then we'll see. What if this is someone that we know too? Or we're supposed to know? His praises. You'll have to see for yourselves. Uh, is this the place? We. Oui. Ah, speak of the devil. Allow me to introduce my assistant, Kun Jun. Young Kun, these are two adventurers assigned to us. I'm going to say his first name, last name together. You know about Zhang Li? Not uh, Kun Jun? Uh, 
This is Zhang Li, a consultant from the funeral parlor. Wang Sheng Funeral Parlor's consultant. Mr. Zhang Li, I've heard about you. They say you're a man of great knowledge and many talents. I had no idea I'd be meeting you in person today. I, I'm sure I recognize you. Have we met at the parlor? We, I've never been to the parlor. Uncle Dai, aren't you gonna test them? So that's what you were planning. Huh? I I wouldn't know where to start. Then they can figure out a way to test each other. If Zhang Li wins, he's the assistant. If Zhang Li loses, uh, uh, never mind. Zhang Li won't lose. You still gotta put some up. Contest? Why, it would be my pleasure. I, admire I would hate putting the guy out of the job, though. Good, sir. <laughs> I must say, you certainly have the look of an industry expert about you. It'll be interesting to see which one of us wins. He is a GR con, so. I'm on your being rude. I'm just saying it like I see it, <laughs> which is incidentally the only skill I have worth talking about. So you're an appraiser, Mr. Kunjun. Well, no. Actually, I've already forgotten what I'm in Liyue Harbor for. I was standing by the side of the road one day when Uncle Dai called me over. He saw me holding a rock and asked me a few questions. He seemed incredibly excited, even followed me for a while. We arranged Creepy. to meet here. Huh? How could you forget something like that? Loss of memory. I saw Amnesia. him on my way over to Liyue Harbor, pouring over rocks and muttering to himself. He looked to be very familiar with them. I asked him a few questions out of curiosity. To my surprise, he knew more than me, an old mining foreman. In any case, he didn't have any pressing matters and agreed to help me. So, do you have a poor memory? Amnesia, most Not likely. exactly. Anyway, if it's rocks you need help with, or I can he's certainly it. lend a hand. Mr. Zhongli, what do you make of this rock? Hmm. A glossy exterior. With a fissure that could only have been left in the wake of a volcanic eruption. If I'm not mistaken, this is a rough gem from another nation. Ah, a keen eye. Who has a volcano? What nation? It's no ordinary rough gem. Fragile surface layer, black veining. My intuition tells me that there's high quality crystal ore inside. Remarkable! This rock does indeed hail from the vicinity of a volcano. I came across it in a market and snapped it straight up. The seller thought it was some leftover industrial remnant. They had no inkling of the treasure that lay within. Isn't crystal ore found everywhere? Purity and geological rarity alone aren't enough to make a treasure. Some of the most precious crystals contain deposits of water or sand. In the moment of its formation, I've seen that the on Twitter. crystal hidden within this stone I wondered if the water stinks inside the rocks. Water. For water to be hidden in its depths, like a moon concealed within a mountain, reflecting shafts of daylight that make it through. Now that's a rare treasure. Such a detailed description. Very passionate. Almost like he saw it with his own two eyes. Say, you're not trying to hoodwink us, are you? After all, we haven't even seen what's inside yet. Everything he said is true. Most crystals are born in high temperature environments. Heat and water aren't natural bedfellows, of course. High which pressure too. Why which he can create water pressure, so. Are so sought after. Moreover, this particular crystal contains mountain lake water. A rare find indeed. Well, if Zhang Li says so, it must be true. Is that facts, Paimon? I'm is that to encounter anyone with a judgment as shrewd as yours, Mr. Zhongli. How did you know exactly what lay within? I've seen he can speak to the rocks. stones in my time. I recognized it immediately. I hope you didn't mind me flaunting my experience, Mr. Kunjun. Of course not. I feel I've met a kindred spirit here today. I hope you, you met accept my friendship. Uncle Dai, it would be a mistake for Mr. Zhongli not to join us. Trust me when I say that his level of expertise is unrivaled in the trade. You won't come across another of his caliber in your lifetime. Very well. There is strength in numbers, after all. Everyone, follow me to the chasm. There are men counting on you to find them. I say chasm. Guess we're going back there again. Not just outside of it.
Get the parts. Wait, did I not get every waypoint in the chasm? Or around the chasm? Every journey. No, I'm missing one. And whatever this temple is. I need to finish getting all the waypoints. The fact that I don't have them all yet, and there's a new update about to come out, and I've done everything main storyline that's available, it's kind of disgraceful. I even have an area down here of islands that I have not ventured to. I need to do that at some point. That'll be a half episode thing. As its final day, don't rush. Always gotta be saying something. Don't you, Zhang Li? I want to collect all the ore around here. Even though obviously there's no battle pass left. Still, it'd be nice to have stuff. Wait, I've been over here and somehow I didn't get this picture. Snap. I want to get the viewpoint, not sit. What a sight, what a sight indeed. Huh. How many be some to come back and get a thumbnail for? Later. I know. Later. Hey, fellas! Halt! The chasm is sealed off. If you're an outsider, please. Oh, it's you. Oh, no! Run! Come on. Come on now. <laughs> Sorry for scaring you. Wait, let me not make it auto. Of course I remember you. How could I forget the person who saved my life? I was only recently transferred here. Didn't think I'd meet you here. I guess I'm a lucky guy, eh? We saved you? Did we do that? Oh, come now. I was at the Jade Chamber when we fought the sea monster together. I was lightly injured and only returned to my post recently. You might not remember me, but I'll never forget you. All of our comrades who fought that day witnessed what you did for Liyue. Could you tell me a bit about the chasm? Two years ago, an unknown incident occurred deep within the caverns, and the Chi Sing gave the order to close the place. Miners were largely evacuated to safety. Why do we need the story? The chasm's already reopened. It's just a shame that such a huge mine ceased production, just like that. The workers took their compensation and went their separate ways. Once such a gathering of people is dispersed, I fear it may be difficult to get them back together again. The fact that you use the word disperse here. Once such a gathering of people disperse. Disperses, maybe. I fear it may be difficult to get them back. Just the second part doesn't feel like... Why am I grammaring right now? Um, sorry. I get a bit off topic there. I got a bit off topic there. I believe that you must be here on important business. So I won't bother you any further. If you have any questions, you can ask Muning directly. He should be at the campsite at the mine entrance. Also, uh, it's not that I don't trust you or anything, but it's my job to remind you not to, to not to do anything that breaks the law. Don't worry. You can trust us. Come on. I feel like that wasn't actually necessary, but since I ran across it, it kind of had to happen. All right, come on. Ooh, the J-Chamber. Get to our starting point. Oh, we got to talk to him first. Okay. I just wanted to get that. And I wanted to see who was over there. It's just a regular person. Wow, this mine is huge. You say that after looking at like one cart or whatever this is of, where the incident occurred. of rocks. Two years ago? Six days ago, a group of us left well, the site to attend to other matters. When we returned, the four men we'd left behind had vanished. The foreman? I led a team around the entire mine, but found no trace. The foreman of foreman? That's when I decided to enlist help. So four miners have disappeared. Yes, there were ten of oh, us. Oh no, lost children? We lost Long, Bold Sen, Brave Sen, and Mao. I worked with all of them. Workers in this trade are usually young men in the prime of their lives. Look, they are children. Could it be that the four of them left for another mine? <sighs> Unlikely. There's no other lodging for miles around, and we didn't pass any other mines on the way over. Huh. Such a huge mine. Did you really manage to explore every corner? I didn't. 
Underground, overground, we left no stone unturned. We tried everything short of digging further into the earth itself. How could four sturdy young men just vanish into the bedrock? We don't uh, need they to explore the, void? the site ourselves before extracting any conclusions. Very well. I'll wait here. Please, proceed wherever you'd like. If you come across any clues, let me know straight away. Okay. I can do that. That's strange. How could the four of them just suddenly disappear? Did they run away from something? We know there's a lot of mystic stuff that ha the happens around the chasm. Let's see if we can find any clues. Uh, no, please. Please. Over here. What's this? I have no clue. There wasn't really a thing to look at. A pile of shirts. Some trousers. Uh oh, they were stripped. Huh. A few everyday items. They must belong to Uncle Dai and his men. One, two, three, four. I declare huh. thumb war. Right. Ten shirts, ten pairs of trousers. These must be spares, right? Look, Uncle Dai's clothes are identical. Okay, a lot of people's clothes are identical around here. have been here. gone for six days without a change of clothes. There's also a Ugh, their clothes are dirty. And some soap lying around. They couldn't have taken the soap out. with them. Items Wait, were they spirited away? Face before the dawn shift. Mining equipment. So, they didn't take any supplies. They were spirited away. Hmm. Just the whole soul Correct. title for the mission makes me think spirited away. Maybe they didn't need them. Maybe they just forgot them. Improbable. There are four pickaxes missing. It seems likely they left with the tools of their trade. They had time to take their tools, but not their everyday items? Curious. Barry. Huh. Why would someone set off with their tools, but leave their luggage behind? Because they thought they'd be right back. One, they were working close by and didn't need to move their personal effects. Boom. But seeing as they've yet to return, this seems an unlikely hypothesis. True. Or two, they were forced to leave and had no time to think about their supplies. Also possible. But they still got the pickaxes. Oh. I'd grab a bar soap. Do you think someone kidnapped them? It's certainly a possibility. Kidnapping miners. We'll need more clues before Scumbag. any further inference can be made. Scumbags. We don't know how many of those involved. Leave. Maybe they were made to leave. Let's make a note and let Uncle Dai know. Oh, you got a piece of paper to make that note? Look for more clues. Considering he's standing right there. Makes me think there's a clue. Yeah. Gunjun. But you find! Something about Gunjun, that. What do you have there? Score lapis? Come on, next thing a dialogue. Oh, right on time. Auto doesn't always work well. Did you find anything? There's a chunk of ore here. Perhaps there are clues within. Ore? What does it have to do with the disappearance? Let's find out. I'll give it a try. A moment, please. We could break it with two stone towers from Zhongli. <sighs> okay. Was he rubbing it? He followed what looked like a child. That's creepy. Hmm. Li is interested in his ability. This person is related to Zhang Li in some way, from the distant past, probably. Looks like he's concentrating really hard. What's he up to? He's I looking see. at the memory. Four men. Following someone out of the mine. Four men following. Four miners following a child. It, yeah. It looks like a child. A child? What's a child doing in a mine? I'm not sure. Also, how did you see anything 
talking exactly? He can talk to rocks. Oh, I don't mean see in the traditional sense. I, I, I would appreciate it if what I'm about to tell you remained a secret. It's a little odd. I've never dared to tell anyone before. I can Dare to tell us. perceive the memories of Orr. Huh? Perceive? So there's no conjecture at work? You mean you can put your hand on a rock and boom, it just happens? I've always sensed that Orr contains memories. Sometimes it records events that occur in the surrounding area. All I have to do is touch one and focus my attention, and the memories come to me. Amazing! So you can find out everything that ever happened there! It depends on the ore. Some ores have astounding memories. Others, like iron ore and white iron ore, aren't up to much. Their memories are hazy. Because they're low quality. And crystal memories are much stronger. They record more events and in greater detail. Stone seeing. Fascinating. A rare ability indeed. It was prudent of Uncle Dai to recruit you, Mr. Kunjun. <laughs> I'm glad I can be of assistance. Based on what I saw, I believe they followed this path. I guess we should follow this will it. take us north, away from the mine. Mm hmm. North. Another clue for Uncle Dai. Let's make a note of it. When are we going to report this back to Uncle Dai? Why are we looking around for more clues? Why would we not just go the way that we know that they went? Whatever. I guess we'll talk to this man after we grab this these iron chunks. Quake! I know I shouldn't be doing this right now. Especially because nice. I don't get anything out of it other than just more iron, but you know, I just feel like doing it. Of course, I have it. Bravo! Thoughtless. Excuse me, sir. Are you one of the workers here? Ah, yes, yes. You must be here about the disappearance. Yep. Please find them if you can. Okay. I, I don't know what happened. The weather was gloomy that day. The foreman left with a few men. I stayed behind with the other four. After a while, I decided to take a break. Just to catch my breath, I ended so up the only one that remained. asleep in the shelter inside. When I woke up, there was no sight of them. I'd only just been speaking with them, and suddenly, they'd vanished. Maybe, maybe I'm next. So the men that were out working disappeared, with the only one left to tell the tale having been asleep in a shelter. Perhaps an accident occurred on sight. An on-site accident. We should note that down too. Found some clues. Time to report back to Uncle Die. Okay. I guess we could do that. Even though we saw the direction that they left in, we're still not doing anything about it, apparently. Hi, Uncle Die. We're back. We took some You're notes back. on clues. How are the investigations going? Do I have to say something or we'll climb onto it? We found three clues in the will. vicinity. First, there are four missing pickaxes, yet everyday items are still in their place. This suggests that your men didn't leave of their own accord, but were forced to. Forced to? But who would kidnap miners? Who indeed? Files. Second, there were five workers at the mine. One of them left the site to take respite. When he awoke, his colleagues had disappeared without a trace. Those who kept working all disappeared. The one who left early emerged safe and sound. It would appear that the incident occurred on site. Now that you mention it, I recall Bravo saying that he took a break. Could someone have entered the site and simply walked away with them? This leads me to my third point. Mr. Kun Jun here made good use of his... Uh, expert techniques to arrive at a conclusion it was a child that took your men away a child but there are no settlements here for miles around 
And it doesn't There's make no sense for a child, child to take minors. To that mine. just seems like they're playing. Unlikely as it sounds, that's our conclusion. Your men were following a child. Where did they go? We believe that they followed the road north, away from the mine and toward the ruins. North? Right. I'll rally my men and head in pursuit. Can you help? You've been invaluable to the investigation, but leave the legwork to us. If we set off now and make haste, we might be able to catch them. Maybe you should so leave it to fast. us. The incident occurred six days ago. Even if they set out on foot, they will have covered a lot of ground by now. Unless they just You're stopped right. somewhere nearby. New plan. I'll lead my search party over to the settlements further out and make some inquiries. There are only a few settlements around here with lodging for the night. We'll go investigate and see if we can come up with anything. I feel like they probably meantime, didn't lodge anywhere. You could keep looking for clues. If we don't see each other, let's reconvene at Wang Shu Inn tomorrow evening. Agreed. I'm down. All right. Me and my men will get going. So, they're gonna talk to the people over at the settlements while we keep investigating here. I think we should follow the men's path. Correct. Really, this auto is so more clues at the mine. late sometimes. Shall we go north? Wait. I believe we're missing someone. Huh? Oh, yeah! Where's Kunjun? Paimon bets he's still investigating. Let's go find him. Alright, let's go. Oh, he moved again. Hi, homie. I don't really enjoy it when it's just talking like this. It's kind of boring. Kunjun, what are you searching for? We're all out of clues. Let's get going. Ah, apologies. I'm conducting a quick search for my own benefit. I'm looking for a precious stone known as Dragonfall. Dragonfall? Is that like dragon poop? I've never heard of it. Dragonfall is often used in forging. What use do you have for it? Forging? Or talking I, to it? I don't know. I, I'm i sorry. Is it left I, by I the don't lawn? recall why I'm seeking it. I've been feeling very absent lately. Like Name minded? address aside, I'm having trouble remembering things. In fact, I've been feeling extremely... Anxious, as if there's something I've forgotten to finish. It's an unpleasant sensation. Oh, Paimon knows that feeling. When you know you've forgotten something, but you can't remember exactly what it is. I feel that whenever I, I try to mention a celebrity's name with. and I forget what their name is. I've been aimlessly wandering. That day at the market, I overheard a conversation while I was buying something. They mentioned Dragonfall. It sounded so familiar to me, as if whatever it was I had to do was linked to that stone. So, I decided to look for some. Perhaps if I can retrieve some, I'll remember what it is I have to do. I see. Does that anything to do with this all god, if does it? I am able to during our endeavor, I will help you look for this stone. Really? Oh, thank you, Mr. Shang Li. You're too kind. Think nothing of it. Shouldn't we get going? Heading north from the chasm will reach Lingju Pass. If this is indeed the path they chose, there will be traces. Great! Let's have a look! Just trying to find more clues, eh? Just trying to find more clues. I'm not gonna bring that stone. That stone is helpful to us. Crap. Crumble. With the wind. I'd like it if you stayed all the way away from me. I say as I follow him. Wind blade. Yeah. 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 
Can I move? I thought he was stunned because his shield broke. Instead, he's just putting his head down and firing at me. Don't get in my way. I'll take your draps and I'll heal myself up with Chi Chi. Let's continue on with our mission. Right this way. I remember being here before when I was first coming to the chasm. I guess we gotta go to that ladder. Wait, there are tracks here. These must have been left by the miners. Let us make our way to the end of Lingju Pass. If there are no footprints there, it would suggest that the miners are still within the pass itself. However, if we find new we see with elemental sight, we can follow them wherever they may lead. All right, I guess I'll glide over to the ladder. Who saw me? Whoever it is, stop looking for me. Ah, I see. Is that Abyss Mage? All right, up the ladder we go. Uh, let's continue the climb. I think we're about to fight a rune hunter here. It's waiting for something to trigger. Two sets of footprints. And? It would appear that they made their way through Lingju Pass and kept moving. It would appear so. If we follow their footprints, we should be able to find where they went. Alright, so we continue going this way. Well, we had to face that Rune Hunter. I mean, he'll drop things I can use, but I don't want to take the time to battle him now. Um. Great. Guess we'll have to fight this one. Wait. Boom. Swirl it up. Put that down. Do this here. Uh, here's an update saying that they're going to be turning down off the servers in like probably an hour. Servers will be down maintenance in one hour. Yep. Knew it was coming. A lot of rune hunters over here. Yo, get that magical shield off your eyes. I want to shoot you in the eyes. Oh, man. There we go. And then boom. You're going to be taking it down right about now. Thank you for the goodies. We got instructor's pocket watch. But now we can go back up here and get the stuff that we need. Oh no, the footprints end here. We should inquire with anyone nearby. If the miners came through here, they may well have seen them. Okay, I guess we'll go talk to Are you supposed to be friendly with them? Hey, Omi. See a group of miners? Hi there. Have you seen anyone dressed like a miner around here? A miner? I'm afraid not. Uh, let's try someone. 
someone else. All right. Should we clarify that we mean grown men that work in mines? This mission just kind of leaves things to seem suspect. Hi, Wei. You see some miners? Hello. Have you seen any miners nearby? About this tall? Four of them? They're very tall miners. Stop bothering me. Can't you see I'm cloud watching? Jeez. A little grumpy, aren't we? We're looking for missing people, you jerk. Whatever. Let's go ask someone else. Also, someone says they're looking for miners. And you think, stop bothering I could have meant kids. Very tall kids that are lost and need help. You heartless little... Mm. Oh, shoot. Uh, I would have preferred if we didn't have to do this right now. You can't run. Wasn't trying to. Wait, did you just say he can't run? Am I transparent? Get off that. A reward on the road. You can't run. Not trying to. Ever seen one of these? That all you got? No. I miscalculated. Sure you did. You didn't realize that your back was open. All right. I guess we'll go to the last person to ask if they've seen any miners. Her. Ling, hi. Have you seen any miners before them? This tall? As Paimon would say. Hey there. Uh, seen any miners? It must have been about four or five days ago. There were a few men who came through here carrying baskets and picks. I guess that could have been them. Oh, you know exactly what type of miners we were talking about. Yeah, that's them! Four or five days ago. It appears that they were moving slower than we'd anticipated. Traversing the geography of Lingju Pass must have held them up. It was so strange. Four big guys with lifeless expressions. It was like they were in some sort of trance. And there was a child staggering in front of them. Staggering? Huh. This child. Did you see what they look like? I caught a glimpse. Blue hair. Short. I think... I think it was a girl. She wasn't smiling. In fact, she looked very serious. Gigi? And they took this road? Yes. They followed Gigi it straight rare, from right? here. Let's go after them. No, her hair is more. Uh, it's kind of purple, silverish. Ah, uh, PGG. I was hoping we wouldn't acknowledge each other. I guess I stood here for too long. No, sir. That was mean of you. Who are you swinging for, huh? Oh, wow. We weak. Sacred name. Fortune preserver. Rise. Come on. Take your lumps. Take your lumps. Why are you not getting wet by his attacks? You should at least be getting wet. Wow, they are doing so much damage to Aloy like that. How am I not doing a lot of damage to this man? Dude is healing him! That's why! Let me up! Let me up! 
life goes on. Uh, Can you stop shooting me, please? Missile pack a punch. Very You're rude. Now. No slacking off. Wind blade. Come on, come on, come on. I gotta focus on healing McFeely first. Turn around. No, him, him. The fat one. That's not nice. He's chubby. Come on, he's got no health. He's running on shield. Ow, ow, stop it! Yo, what is up with all the randomness of what I can and can't do? Stop healing. Well, you can't heal anymore. You bet it's bad. So give me a goodies. And then there was you. What you think you gonna do to me, huh? Are you going to stop me, huh? Why did my attack go there? You're, you're caught up in a swirl. In a cinnamon swirl. This is not going well. His shield will not drop no matter how many cryo attacks I use. See? It's not going down at all. It doesn't make sense. I mean, fire can melt ice, but also ice can cool off fire. Let's be real here. I need to get Mona out here on this party already. Here. Hope this doesn't leave from the spot. I do need to hurry up. So I need you to end already. Wind blade. Finally. My gosh. It's like forever. I'll keep this close. I guess we got 45 minutes left until they're going to shut down the servers. Either that or 50. We're going to a waypoint that I've never been to before. 50 minutes, okay. Keep going, keep going, keep... I don't want to deal with you! Wheel of life. But I know you want to. For you. How about you prepare yourself? Because you ain't got no friends. You're just getting a beat down solo. Excuse me. Take this. The heel thing. That thing. The twirl thing. And boom, take a little bit of damage to you like that. I wish I could do more damage to guys, like faster. It takes so long. Yeah, you're right, you're right, you're right. The student loans aren't going to wait. Stupid student loans. All right, uh, enough mumbling about my problems. Let's continue on. Go get this viewpoint over here. Get just a little sliver of health left to get. All right. Everyone should be back full health now. Get the waypoint, and then we'll continue our search. More footprints. <gasps> There's a person over there. Where? Help! Please save me. Is that what the people were looking for? 
Nope, oh, sounds like a woman. Ask you first. Ask questions later. Yeah, I guess we'll rush over. Hi, you guys want to fight me? Surprise. Opening box of Adept Eye Tricks. Excuse me. Let me hit you while you flips. All right. You're up right now, but this guy is now flips. Can we go after him and not the slime? The slimes are easier to take care of. Here, the heal. I got this. Grab this. Can you guys come closer? Please. Oh, this one's almost dead. Oh, come on. You're like already dead. Stop fighting. You're already dead. I don't see any health left in your bar. It's just a bar with nothing left in it. I think I killed him, but he don't drop nothing. Come on. Thank you, my gosh. Come on, can I heal first? Those monsters were so aggressive. They must have noticed me walking through. Before must I knew have. it, they were all over me. Thank you all for saving me. No problem. You see miners walk by? My name is Wanyu. I belong to Liyue's Shengyu Hall. I head up our human culture and civilization research. Huh? A minor? No, she's an adult. A minor? We're looking for four minors. They were yeah, following a child. We're looking for a group of four strong fellas carrying mining equipment. I... I think I saw those people. Really? Yes. I set off from Nantianmen the day before yesterday, heading for Lingju Pass. About halfway there, I came across some people. A few men and a child. Can you be more, a bit more specific? I was in a hurry. I didn't get a good look. I'm afraid I'm not even sure what they looked like. Apologies. I think that's all we needed to hear. Thank you. I hope it's useful to you. I hope so too. I'd better get going. There's a conference I need to attend. Again, thank you all for your help. According to this scholar, the miners were heading for Nantiamun. Don't know what that is. Can we be absolutely sure that it was the men that we're looking for? Nah. A child with a group of adults sounds pretty close to Paimon. Could easily have been a different group. Uh, but... I think we should follow it, though. Hey, perhaps that rock over there can tell us more. Xiong Li just slowly turned his head. Uh -huh. Paimon nearly forgot about our secret weapon. It looks promising. I'll do my best. And if you please. Hmm. Where are their pickaxes? Huh. Can we get this all done within 40 minutes? It's the same group, all right. They followed this road. <laughs> Mr. Kunjun, your stone seeing is something I won't forget in a hurry. I suppose it is an asset. Will no, you forget I it slowly then? Use for it. But praise from Mr. Zhongli is high praise indeed. 
It's a good thing we brought our Kunjun compass along. We would have lost all sense of direction a long time ago. <laughs> you think so? I guess it's been a worthwhile trip then. It feels like... like we're cracking a criminal case. It's a lot of fun. Be that as it may, we would do well to keep our guards high. Yeah, there's a Four lot of monsters around. Men in a See, look, there's state, one right behind Zhongli right there. Walking ceaselessly day and night over hills and mountains led by a child. This is no ordinary incident. Oh, nope. you're quite right, Mr. Zhongli. We should have our wits about us. That's not all. Our scholar was attacked by Geovishop hatchlings, but the level of aggression they exhibited was unusual. Really? We have encountered many clues along the way. So far, they've pointed us in the right direction. Hmm. Hmm. The miners headed in the direction of Nan Tianmen the day before yesterday. From here, they would have had to navigate a perilous mountain road. If their destination is indeed Nan Tianmen, we should be able to catch up with them. Great! No time to lose! I left a mark in the vicinity just now. If Uncle Dai does pass through here, it should guide him to us. Clever thinking! A classic Zhongli move! Classic indeed! Alright, guess we gotta go this way. Past more monsters. There's a slime that's looking down on us. I guess the treasure hoarder looks even long though. We have no business with the treasure hoarder. This is an interesting path to take. I remember being over here. This is where we had to do temple run. Genshin style. Uh. Huh? Yeah. Wait. Got him. Who put all these things here? That's actually a good question. I don't think that's ever been answered. Oh. All right, it's continuing on. Please, please. Okay, we're good. Ooh, pretty. Don't see me, 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 don't see me. I want to go around that. I don't want to fight the Geova shape. Uh, can I climb on top of this? Kind of? Here we go. Come on, higher. Higher steel. Let's get stamina back before we jump again. And go. We're in here. Let's see him going up. How'd they get up here? I know they could not just climb with their pickaxes and the baskets in the back. Gosh, they're so far. Can we teleport closer? Holy crap, we can. I was running all this way. I could have skipped all that. Looks like it. Yo, do you good? There's a basket lying here, too. This must be one of the miners. Where's his big axe? Hey. Hello? Can you hear us? Judging by his appearance, he must have collapsed from exhaustion. Well, they didn't stop, right? Should we wake him up? I can... 
I can still dig. <gasps> Are you sure? It sounds like he's whispering Are something. you sure you can? Yeah, it looks like he's struggling. It seems that he thinks he still has work to do. Oh, I hate those dreams. Something's not right. There's a camp nearby. We should take him there and monitor his condition before deciding our next move. You, like, wake up in a sweat in the middle of the night be like, I still have to do this task that was left at work. And then you gotta stop and realize to yourself, you're home because you finished it. So no, you do not have more work to do. Oh, I hate that feeling so much. Worst time I had it is when I was a dishwasher at a stupid restaurant owned by a complete and total jerk. Hmm. How is he? He... he won't die, right? He's worked himself into a stupor. Thankfully, he's not in serious danger. How do you get so exhausted? Probably walking non-stop. Paimon heard him talking about digging for something. Did he dig himself into this state? Possibly. It's certainly a possibility. Uh, wasn't he brought here? Hmm? It looks like there's something in his pocket. Ooh, ooh, these... pick his pockets. Or fragments? Hmm. You talk to them? Let us know! If you can. Is that it? You just have a memory of him picking them up? I just witnessed the memories within these ore fragments. This person brought these fragments out of the mine. He's one of the four that we're searching for. How he came to be here is what we need to understand. True. So he was kidnapped and then abandoned here. But if they didn't need him, why bring him all the way out here? Unless something happened. Something that led him to fall behind. Ugh. Paimon's had enough. This is too mysterious. Oh, wait a moment. Seeing these fragments has jogged my memory. I have something for you. What is it? Oh, is it a present? Something for us? As I mentioned, before I met Uncle Dai, I was in a daze. After setting out with you on this case, it feels like a fog is lifting. I was so happy when Uncle Dai enlisted you to help. I would never have John Lee, do you have a son? These clues by myself. This might be him. These are some crystals that I bought from the market. Not any old crystals, mind you. This purity is extraordinarily rare. One for each of you. A memory, if you will. It's beautiful. Oh, and the colors change as you turn it. It's like a different crystal from each angle. Can I really give this? But of course, take it. And this one is for Mr. Shongli. Uh, Feels awkward accepting huh? the rock. I is something wrong? Not to your liking? On the contrary. I just hadn't anticipated receiving a gift during the current circumstances. Understandable. But thank you. I will take good care of it. I'm pleased you like them. It's nice to be able to give a gift that others can appreciate. Oh, I see more rocks over there. You should all get some rest. I'm going to scan the surroundings. Perhaps there are more memories to uncover. Does it not exhaust you? You sure like rocks, huh, Kunjin? Ores are the crystals of the earth. The sediment of time itself. I feel at peace among them. Get some rest and call me when you're ready to set off. I won't be far. He'll be okay on his own, right? Rest easy. I surveyed the area. There's no danger here. Yeah, we teleported right. away from the danger. However, there, there is was a hilly troll, actually. I wanted to discuss with you. Huh? What was that? What's with the seriousness all of a sudden? Traveler, does Dragonfall mean anything to you? No. You mean the ore that Kunjun's looking for? What's so special about it? Dragonfall is an incredibly rare ore used in forging. The majority of regular crystals are formed in high temperature environments. Dragonfall, on the other hand, is formed as a product of elemental reactions. Elemental reactions can produce material objects? <sighs> Indeed they can. However, only a minority can survive for long periods of time. Dragonfall <laughs> first emerged in the midst of a great battle thousands of years ago. Powerful clashes of elemental energy gave birth to elemental crystals. 
when the fighting ceased. These geological remnants were miraculously preserved. <sighs> and yet they are crystal creations all the same. Few and far between, relatively unknown. A few hundred years ago, they were virtually mined into obscurity. Why is it then that a citizen of Liu now wishes to strike upon ore that has long since vanished from the Earth? Yeah, if he knows of its existence, surely he knows all of it's already been mined. Weird. Paimon doesn't get it. There are those in the mining trade who retain a keen interest in Dragonfall. But for someone like Mr. Kunjun, whose motivations for seeking it are unclear even unto himself, it's practically unheard of. Perhaps he has ulterior motives? Ulterior motives? <gasps> is he a villain? A conclusion that is presently impossible to reach. We must watch and wait. Don't forget, rescuing those miners is the primary objective. As for anything else, sooner or later the tide will reveal the lie of the land. We're drawing closer to our goal. I believe we should continue to follow this road through. Now that we've found one, the others won't be far away. When you're well rested, call Mr. Kunjun over to us. We still have more investigation ahead. We should ensure this miner is settled here at the camp. Once we've brought this matter to a close, we can return and attend to him. I suggest we leave a note for Uncle Dai. If he does find the camp, he'll know what to do. What if he don't, though? Ooh. Big stone. Interesting. But... I think I'm gonna call it there for today. I'll split this mission into two episodes. Because, yeah, the server's gonna go down and like 30 minutes, so I think I'd rather be safe than sorry. So that's going to be it for this one. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, deuces. Feels weird having the dot in the head. So I wrote it in the rhyme. The Reverend Doctor got an 8K wet working. The roaches get the rays spray. My weak rhyme, my body, your best verses on game day. I touch the crowns of self entitled kings. You leave the heat like LeBron when I melt your idols, vital things. This is Malcolm and Martin, Million Man March and Sparta mixed with a legion of angels surrounding sons and daughters. Simon Peter with a desert eagle.